halloumi is one of the best cheeses you can find in the market. You can find it in restaurants like Nando's or Bella Italia. You can pick one up from Waitrose or even Tesco's. They make it here. The birth of Aphrodite, Cyprus. What have you? Halloumi is the number one exported food product and in general it comes second in the top list of exported products in the Republic of Cyprus with an estimated turnover of 77 million euros in the year 2013. This figure plays an important role to the economy of Cyprus. However, year after year, halloumi prices shoots up. This is because of the main ingredient used to make halloumi cheese, which is milk. With the prices going up, we came to the question, why should we pay so much for one halloumi since it can be done easily at home and cost less? Now we've done the homework, we do the shopping. The ingredients used to make one traditional halloumi are just one liter of full fat goat's milk, one gram of pitya powder, half a teaspoon of salt. Now that we know the ingredients which we can buy from our local store, and since we do not need any special kitchen tools, it's not so complicated. So why don't we try making it? Back home and this is what we got. This is all the shopping guys we've got here. Four liters of cow milk and one liter of goat's milk. All of them must be full fat. This guys is about half a kilo of salt, but actually we're gonna need about 200 grams. And this is pitya. This is the magic powder guys that will do the trick. This, I don't know if you can find it abroad, but locally is really cheap. And if you don't know from where to buy it from, I know a place that will ship it worldwide. Links in the description. The rest of the materials we're gonna need guys to do this halloumi recipe Two pots similar sizes to fit all 5 liters of milk inside each pot And we're gonna need a drying pan to dry the halloumi pieces Two large plates This drying kitchen tool which we're gonna collect the halloumi chunks And this mixing wooden spoon And we might need as well a knife quite large. We're gonna need as well a kitchen napkin and dry cloth kitchen napkin. I know the halloumi price guys in the UK is probably about 280 or nearly to three pounds sometimes 350 for about 250 grams of halloumi. Today we're gonna try and beat that and do more halloumi cheaper price. So the price here today this cost me around 10 euros. I've got the receipt here and there, the milk in Cyprus is quite expensive. So, all of these guys came to under 10 euros, so 9 euros and 50 something cents. So let's see how many halloumia we can make with this. So now guys, we turn on the fire, put the pan on empty, and we need to pour the milk inside. We need to warm the milk, not too hot, but not too cold, but you know, warm. Yeah. All five liters of milk is inside. You see it's nearly over full. We need to actually warm it, not to make it too warm. So the trick to understand how hot you need to do it is put your finger inside like that and if you can handle the heat that's great okay not to put it not to make it so hot that you cannot handle the heat with your finger so guys we need to keep mixing it like that with a spoon so the heat well, we're gonna help it to warm quicker if we do it like that and also we can test the temperature of the milk as well Still too cold. I'm guessing it's gonna need about 10 minutes on full heat 
with my gas here, full heat, about 10 minutes, just to warm it up, five liters of milk. Ideally, you need a thermometer, but I wanna do this video, guys, as simple as possible, because not every kitchen has a thermometer. So, I wanna try and explain you, with the less tool as possible, to do halloumi. All right, my friends, this is how warm I want the milk. So I turn it off, I can put my finger inside, and I can keep it there for some time, and I don't, I don't get too, Hot, it doesn't get too hot, so that's very good. Now, guys, we need to use a teaspoon, yeah, and we need to get this pitya, yeah, which it comes in small pieces like that. And we need to put half a teaspoon, yeah, that's it. Half a teaspoon, guys, of pitya, and this now should go inside. The way it's going inside is by me. Just turning my mixing, mixing with my spoon one side like that, and I'm putting it inside the bitkia. And all the bitkia is inside now. Yeah? And keep stirring that like that for about three to five minutes. Yeah? Keep stirring like that, guys. And this is what the magic will make now the halloumi. Remember, the fire is off. So now what we do, we just, we turn it off, the milk is warm, and we just mix it like that, and we just leave it like that. And we're gonna leave it like that for about 40 minutes, yeah? While the cheese is getting ready, guys, Let's talk a little bit about the traditional quality of halloumi cheese. Halloumi, originally and traditionally, it was made 100% from goat's milk. It tasted better. The cheese we do buy now in stores, guys, is 50-50. So if you do buy from really famous makes, Greek makes, Cypriot makes, the quantities they use is 50% cow milk and 50% goat's milk. But if you do buy an authorized milk, then they even use powdered milk there. So they you just, it's just rubber, which is fine. It's still halloumi. But if you really want to get the traditional taste, then you just use 100% goat's milk. Today, guys, for price reasons, we only use four liters of cow's milk and one liter of goat's milk. That's because we want to keep the cost price low to give us a nice halloumi with still the flavor and the taste of goat's milk. So we have used up to 10 euros and we're planning to get probably around one kilo of halloumi cheese. It's about 20 minutes now and it's really doing well. You can see a little bit of steaming. Let me just zoom you in a little bit. Look at that guys. You see the pieces that is separating from the milk and you're gonna see now different color coming out from the milk and the halloumi chunks. Look at it here, you can see it especially here when the milk is separating to the cheese. After 40 minutes guys, I'm back. Okay, what we need to do, we need to get a knife and there should be some big balls in there. What you do, you use your knife and you cut through everything inside there, just like that, just like so, whatever is in there. And then you need to cut it in really small pieces, all this cheese, half made cheese. Use this one and this is what we've got here, yeah. Very good. All right, guys, we just waited another five minutes and okay, everything's looking fine. Right, what we need to do now, we need to get this ball with the holes inside, put it inside the other ball, and then we need to get the magic nap yang, guys, this white one. Need to put it in here, like that. 
and then just push it a little bit down yeah very good and now guys we need to get all the pieces of cheese from the bowl and pour it on top of the napkin make sure you dry it well guys before you put it inside there so this one will have to do less work basically that's the only reason why but yeah so yeah one piece yeah very good Right guys, now that we just put all the cheese inside here, we need to empty all of this juice inside here now to collect the rest of the stuff. The way we do need to do this. Yeah, slowly, slowly. Yeah. Okay, yeah, slowly, slowly. So guys, most of the juice has run down. And the next step is to completely remove all the juice that's left inside this cheese inside here. So we very carefully pick every end of this napkin or piece of cloth and you just do it in such a way and then you just squeeze it yeah we should have about four or five halloumi here lovely look at that all right guys i just finished squeezing it so now all the cheese is left in here and it's as dry as i could to do it so guys the rest of the process is to take out all the cheese we can from this cloth you see it's stuck some of it is stuck, but yeah, this is a nice ball coming out here. Yeah. Very good. What we can do now is make it like a ball. Go one. Look at that lovely cheese. Two, three, uh, I think we're getting another one, five, we've got five pieces guys out of this, look at this guys, now what we need to do, we can try and leave it if you want, like this, or you can try and Twist it like a lemon piece, but for me, we'll do it just like that. So, what I will do now, I'm gonna take one of the pieces, guys, and I'm gonna join all the loose parts inside like that so they will stick on one of the pieces. The other ones, I'm not gonna bother turn them around, so I'm just gonna leave them how they originally got cut and. That's it, squeeze all of that over here. Very good. So guys, we'll put on the fire. Yeah, this one, full power. We need to put them inside there, guys, and leave them until they get cooked, get cooked to halloumi style. In this process, we're gonna get some anari out of it. Look at these lovely pieces, guys. The best way to know that they're cooked, you're gonna see them, they're gonna come up. They're gonna start coming upwards when they're getting ready. We're nearly, guys, 15 minutes now boiling, and we come across this stuff. This is what we call, guys, in during the process, in Greek, we call it anari. So this is what you have. We're getting to the point where we're having some anari now. Look at that, guys. Yeah? You can have this, of course, with some sugar 
or syrup or some honey. Keep turning the halunya on each of their side, like so. So we turn on the other side now, because when they come at the top, then you need to help them to cook from both of the sides. So guys, five halumia in under 10 euros. Wow! And I'm getting fresh and hurry as well. After 50 minutes, guys, the halumia are now ready. Look at that. Take one out, turn off the fire. Look at that piece, I mean, it's amazing. Oh, this is so nice. It has that shiny and um, glossy look, which is perfect. Perfect halloumi. And what we do now, we put a little bit of salt on it. Yeah, if you prefer it with salt, but that's how they say you should store it. And let me try a little bit. Mmm, bellissimo! This juice here is a storing juice. So what we do, we need to take some of this juice, really hot. And when you want to store your halloumi, you need to put some of this juice and some salt. So I would like to show you how much you need to put. All right, that much for me is enough. This is gonna be stored now. You just leave it to absorb all the heat of each halloumi. You can roll up them and put them in a bigger bowl, but if you're having one a day or something, that's the way forward. And you just leave them there to cool down and then they're ready to go inside your fridge with a cover on top, of course. We came to the end of this video, guys. If you didn't like it, thumbs it up. Comment below for any questions about the recipe. Subscribe to the channel, which is called CowboyDIY.com. Of course, all of this work is posted to Zungla.com. Subscribe there to our newsletter. And until next time, guys, ciao, bella. This click is the rock. Yo, what I'm all about is teaching you the secrets you can do without. I'm the DIY master, so hold them on fire. Let me be your teacher, I will inspire. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and can watch a DIY cowboy. He'll help you out. The beast, I'm the gangster, there is no D9. Just click like, and I'll get you flying. C, D, D, ah.